Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Lunatica Solstice deck from Third Way Industries. All right, so Lunatica, what is it? It, it was a Kickstarter, okay, it was a Kickstarter, successfully funded, of course, uh, this is the deck. Uh, there were four decks in all, actually. Uh, there was a Chimera deck, a Solstice deck, Equinox and Phoenix. I got two of them. I got Equinox and I got Solstice, and I'll be showing you both, and I'll have the link for the other review in the description below. Uh, Lunatica was designed by Giovanni Moroni. Uh, he's out in Italy. He's the brain behind Third Way Industries. And this deck is just colorful, it's modern, it's sharp, and it's fun. The Lunatica cards use a lot of different Pantone neon inks, both on the faces and on the backs. And these inks are super bright and super unique. You can't actually obtain these colors through a typical CYMK printing. Lunatica's back design is perfectly symmetric. It has a solid neon background. And the Equinox and the Solstice backs are very similar, uh, but there's only a subtle difference in the details like flowers, eyes, and between skulls and wings. The tech case is all done in this solid color with this navy blue accent. It says Lunatica at the top. Uh, both sides say Lunatica. The bottom has some ad copy about Third Way Industries. And of course, the back design is the back design of the cards. The top tongue flap has all four suits and the fat tongue flap uh, has a club with two arrows pointing out. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on a retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can always click the link below in the description. Now, a lot of people always ask me how these cards feel and how they handle. I think they feel and handle great because they're made from the United States Playing Card Company. The Solstice deck is done in orange and uh, its theme is disproportion and death. Solstice is the symbol of the waning moon. Uh, this back design has skulls in it on the left and on the right, and it has a flower on the top and the bottom. You're gonna see a lot of geometric shapes, and it has a full bleed all the way to the edges. With this deck, you're gonna get a third joker, which is fun, and you'll get a double backer, which is great for magic tricks. The solstice jokers are the symbol of the dogma and chaos, which is the archbishop and the charming witch. The pips and indice cards for the solstice deck are both simple and geometric. You're gonna see navy blue for the black suits and orange for the red suits. Now in the solstice deck, uh, the different suits represent different things, and you're gonna see that represented in the court cards. So for instance, the spade court cards represent evil, and the hearts courts represent passion, the clubs court cards represent good, and the diamond court cards represent fury. So back and forth, you're gonna see that the traditional black suits have a positive and negative, and the traditional red suits have a positive and negative. Well, that is pretty much everything I can say about the Orange Solstice deck from the Lunatica series from Third Way Industries and Giovanni Moroni. Of course, if you wanna like this video, that would help out a lot so other people can find this video faster. I also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and our card giveaways. If you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you ever need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.